of the SNP, Ian Blackford. Yeah. Thank you, Mr Speaker. This week was supposed to be Operation Save Big Dog, <laughs> but it's quickly become Operation Dog's Dinner. Over the past few days, we have had more damaging revelations about Downing Street rulemaking, more evidence that Parliament has been misled, and an even longer list of ludicrous, absolutely ludicrous excuses from the Prime Minister. First he claimed there were no parties, then he was not present, then he admitted he was at them, but he did not know it was a party. And then, Mr Speaker, the latest sorry excuse is really the most pathetic of them all. Nobody told me. <laughs> Nobody told me. Nobody told the Prime Minister he was breaking his own rules. Absolutely pathetic. The Prime Minister, you know, what a look. What a look. The Prime Minister laughing once again, laughing at the British public. The Prime Minister is taking the public for fools. Nobody, nobody believes him. Will the Prime Minister finally take responsibility, resign? Go, Prime Minister. Uh, no, Mr. Speaker, but I, I thank him for his question again. And uh, let, let, me just, let me just remind him that uh, there's a, an inquiry that is due to, uh, to conclude. Uh, I, I, I believe he is wrong in what he asserts, Mr. Speaker, but we'll have to wait and see what the, uh, what the inquiry says. Uh, but, Mr. Speaker, I think the most important thing from, from the point of view of, of the UK government is that uh, we're coming out of. Uh, the restrictions that we've been in. I'm delighted to see that that's happening in Scotland as well. Uh, and uh, and I, that is very largely thanks to the wonderful cooperation uh, that we continue to see across the whole of the UK, though you wouldn't believe it to hear it from him. Ian Blackford. Mr Speaker, I'm afraid nobody is buying this act anymore. There ought to be some respect and dignity from the Prime Minister. Let's remind ourselves more than 150,000 of our citizens here, have died, here. and he's partying, he's laughing.